Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, tonight my friend made me steak, steak with string bean, and um, I I wanted to eat steak tonight, so I went to Costco. I buy the meat, and I came home. I tell my wife, I may tell my friend, say, um, can you help me fry? each side three minutes and flip over and side the other, fry the other side for three minutes and just season with salt and black pepper and that's all she, uh, I tell my friend that's all you have to do just fry each side for three to four minutes and then it's done so because my, the recipe is belonged to my father when I was a little boy my father is a French chef and um, when I was little he trained me how to eat steak, French steak. So all my life, I've been eating French steak all my life. And I wanted to share with all of you, you guys, that all my life, I've been eating steak. And I'm okay with steak because I get, you know, I get too much already. So I'm not happy eating steak, just be honest, okay? so. Just to show you my life tonight, that steak is, I eat it when I was young and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I'd rather eat something else cheaper, you know? I, I'm not a fancy guy, I'm just a simple guy. So this, I'm gonna show you the steak, French steak. Right here, see with mustard, with string bean, and that's it, That's I don't put any A1 or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So, this, this is my dinner guy. My dad is the same thing. He only eat medium rare, and he put mustard like me, and he eat the uh, Las Vegas or baked potato. Usually we have baked potato with, with uh, cut in half, and that's how he eat. And he, he used this French mustard in French, in France, a lot of French people only use mustard with steak, medium, medium rare, blood on it. But me, I've been eating so many years, now I see blood, I get scared. So here, let me try, okay? It, normally, the real French steak, is we call it pepper steak, it's, it's um, square, it's like this. But I don't have pepper steak with me, so I bought just a, this is actually Costco steak. I think it's New York steak. And it's okay. Just simple. I, I'm not a steak uh, fan anymore. So tonight I want to show you my life. That my long time ago in, in 19. Um, my dad opened a French restaurant back in 1975. In, in Vietnam. Because I was born in in Hain Hoi Lam. That's, that's called Hain, Hainam Island in China. Then I moved to Hong Kong for a little while and then we moved to Vietnam because my dad wanted to open a French restaurant in Vietnam. So I moved there when I was just five, six years old. And uh, my dad opened a French restaurant for the Vietnamese people. And the North Vietnamese already took over Vietnam that time, 1975. So my dad been feeding all that, you know, the Vietnamese, the big gong soldier. And we ha we had no choice because if you don't if you don't invite them in, you know, they will harm our family. My dad have a lot of kids, guy. I have eleven sister. I have thirteen sister. I mean, I'm not twelve sister including myself is number 13 i'm the only boy so here it goes let's try some steak that that i grew up with okay so you know french people they only once cut one slice and it's because my knife is not that sharp i didn't sharpen my knife i i told my friend to cook it almost well done so here it is see it's no more blood. I'm tired of blood, so here it goes. Mmm. Good. Excuse 
excuse me, I add more mustard. I'm eating French style. French people, they eat the same as me. If you go to France, this is how French people eat. You see that? They lay the mustard on top of the steak. And then all they do is they, they usually have bread too. Oh, I have bread, French bread, but I didn't bring it out. I didn't oven it, forgot. I bought it. I have a really good French bread. That's enough. See, it's not red, but it's, it's not that red, but it's a little bit red. Mmm. It's tender. A lot of moist. Because uh, my friend, she cooked with butter. And, um, Tastes right, cause I taught her. I learned steak. I learned how to cook for my dad. My dad is Hoi Lam, Hai Nam. He speak Vietnamese, Cantonese, Mandarin, French, English. But he passed away in nineteen. I mean, uh, back in nineteen ninety six. He was 76 years old, passed away, heart attack, because he ate too much steak, red meat. <laughs> so that's why I don't want to eat a lot of red meat, guys. I'm um, getting old, so eventually I'm going to go to vegetarian only, and I don't want to touch meat anymore pretty soon. So tonight, I have to tell you about my life. I grew up in steak. My dad was a French cook. So this, now you know my life. Usually French eat pepper steak, not, you know, not New York steak. So this is how we, I grew up with when I was a little boy in America. And then in Vietnam, see? One slice of steak, or you could buy pepper steak, it's more expensive. This is cheaper. Uh, this is Costco, five piece for uh, just 50 bucks. I bought it from Costco, New York State. And uh, each piece is like 10 bucks, okay? And then they, I bought this one, uh, asparagus from uh, Costco too. Yesterday I did the shopping, so I didn't want it to go uh, eat out because of pandemic. Oh yeah, today I want to get a vaccine shot in Bowen Park. Um, the vaccine sh shot, I got it, Mad Madaria. Madaria, Mad Madaria. So, at, at when they shot me, it's only like B bites, like ants bite. But now, it's been a few hours, it hurts. So I haven't taken off my shirt, but it, it's, I think it's swollen inside my right arm upper and it hurts so bad now. Medali, 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 Medalia, or something like that. Because I wanted to get, uh, uh, what is it? Fi Pfizer, and they lied to me, they say no more, but the other side of the room, they have visor, and my friend have visor, so I wanna have that. They say, no, we don't have any more uh, that only on the morning and we have a little bit left. So it's out You're late. So I say, okay, and then what I say, what do you have? He said you have Modella Modella Madonna something in that and um, I said, okay, so you give me a shot. I, I Got it for free uh, every once uh, because I'm uh, I'm 50 years old and today I qualify for the shots April 1st. I'm sorry April 1st if you're 50 years old or more, April 1st, 2021, you qualify for the shot. It's free. So I got it at Kaiser. So I got my first shot. And then the second shot, they they uh, give me a card. It's next month. It's going to be May the 4th. May the 4th, 2021. So that's my second shot. It's going to be the same brand, Modella too. 
So this is a late dinner, guys. And normally I eat late a lot. But I don't really, you know, tonight, you know, I want to tell you about my life. I've been raised up with steak. And now I'm not, I don't really like steak anymore, but I have to. So my last plate is going to be steak. I guarantee. In steak, you could eat the steak with mustard, or you can have one piece of rice, white rice, or you can have uh, one baked uh, potato, baked, not a smashed potato. That's how French people eat in France. But in France, they usually the steak medium rare and then if your knife is short i mean sharp you just hold your fork you hold it down and one slice if it's all cut that's me the the chef is number one because in in french style in french restaurant my dad is very popular in back in 1980 1983 in america in monterey park i was i was uh, 14 years old I was I was raised up at Monterey Park LA and then when in Vietnam I was just a few years old you know born in Hainan China and then come to uh, Hong Kong a little bit and then moved to Vietnam before the war and then a few years later 1985 you know the North Vietnam take over the South Vietnam so we you know Viet, South Vietnam they lose the country so that time is called the soldier is called Viet Cong, and and my dad cooks for them. They love my dad. They love it, but my dad is just for business. He's not. He don't hate anyone. He don't discrim discriminating too, but he speak fluent in French. He speak Chinese, Cantonese, Vietnamese, Hainan, and English. That's my dad in French. So. Today, I just show you about my life, all my life as a, since as a little boy that I raised up with steak. So this is the last play that I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm not gonna eat no more in the future because I don't like any more. It doesn't matter, it's uh, no big deal. It's just a steak. Everybody could afford to eat this. Anybody can. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not like, you know, advertising or I'm not uh, trying to show off. It's just a piece of steak. That it's very inexpensive. But this is about my life that I was a little boy that grew up with the steak. That's my dad taught me when I was a kid. And he taught me how to cook too. So I hope you guys are... Uh, Forgive me, I'm not teaching you about life, but I say it's about my life, guys. About my life when, when I was a little boy. Just in America, you know, came to America, uh, eight years old, and um, go to school, just me and my dad, two of us, that's it. Poor, very poor, very, um, no money, no, not even a penny. Came to America with white hand. That's my dad. I left everything back to uh, it in, in Vietnam for my mom. My mom, ha my dad have 13 kids, 11 girls and one boy. I'm the youngest, number 13, a boy. So that's why he brought me because I'm the boy and all the girls and stay in Vietnam because we don't have money to, to get escape Vietnam on the boat because the captain of the boat in Vietnam when you escape the Vietnam war they charge you nine it's like the steak side nine piece of gold for one person to get on the boat so me and my dad is 18 piece of gold this big so we don't have when my dad don't have a lot of money left because he opened the French restaurant and due to the war the, you know the soldier they, they hit our house and they threaten us and stuff like that 
give all the money away and you know steal our money stuff like that during the war vietnam war 1975 if you are 50 years old and or older you should understand what i'm saying and i do apologize for you know i'm not racist or i'm not prejudiced because i still remember my past life when i was a little boy and you know i don't want to i'm not showing off anything guys but this is how my life back then and my dad so um, just tonight uh, you know film on this video I just wanted to show you the last steak I'm gonna eat and share about my life that I was a kid and learned uh, and my dad is a French cook that's it French chef and this is a uh, very tender you see very tender and um, got mustard on the top no a1 no a1 sauce Guys, if you if you wanted to eat steak, just go to um, uh, State of Brother, buy a New York steak, or go to Costco, buy the New York steak, or um, or filet mignon or something. If they don't have pepper steak, you know, go home, put get a nice nice clean pan, uh, put butter. Don't put oil. Put butter, and then put a lot of butter. And then when the body, when the pans get hot, put the steak in and, oh yeah, before you put the steak in, before you season in the steak, you get the hammer, you know, they have the steak hammer, you ham the steak for me, hammer it till it flat, flatten both sides. Then you season with salt and pepper, not too much, but just put a little bit each side, both. And then uh, put butter in your pan and then just fry with each side with three to four minutes and it will get to medium rare okay because my dad is very famous in french food french restaurant